Hey there everyone, Noel Lindsay here, Communications and Marketing Manager for the Manitoba Wildlife Federation. Today we're going to talk about Sandhill Crane. This amazing bird can be found in large numbers in the western and parkland regions of the province and are both a challenging hunt and make for truly delicious table fare. From breast to legs, thighs to wings, and everything in between, the Sandhill Crane is known in many circles as the ribeye of the sky, and for good reason. These birds have the flavor, texture, and size that make them extremely well suited to cooking methods similar to really good beef. Today we're going to focus on a super easy grilled sandhill crane breast recipe that really plays into the beefy nature of these birds and is as much of a hit on the tailgate as it is out of the most well-stocked kitchen. First fire up your grill. You're going to want to get it nice and hot so that we're searing the crane breast giving it delicious char marks while keeping the inside medium rare. If you're in the field, you should have pre-mixed the following ingredients to create your very own Manitoba Wild Game Spice Blend. If you're at home, mix the following ingredients together in a bowl. Keep in mind that you won't be using all of this spice blend, so prepare to put the remainder in an empty container to save for your next grilling or hunting adventure. In a medium-sized bowl, mix the following ingredients. Two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons garlic powder, three tablespoons ground black peppercorns, one tablespoon paprika, two tablespoons kosher salt, one tablespoon chili powder, and two tablespoons of mustard powder. Use a small whisk or fork to thoroughly blend all of the above ingredients. Now that you've got your wild game spice blend mixed and ready to go, liberally brush your cleaned and silver skin free crane breast with olive oil. Liberally apply the seasoning mix, flip the breast and repeat. Place your seasoned crane breast on the grill and sear for two to three minutes. Flip and sear again for two to three more minutes and at this point stick your meat thermometer in the breast and check for doneness. You should be aiming for an internal temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit. If your breast isn't quite there yet, give it one more flip and watch it carefully for another minute or two or until it hits that magic number. Once your meat hits 130, pull it off the grill. Tent it with aluminum foil and let it rest for a full 10 minutes. This will allow the juices to spread throughout the meat as well as allow it to finish cooking, hitting the desired temperature of 135 to 138 degrees Fahrenheit. A perfect medium rare. As with all waterfowl, avoid cooking your meat until it's well done. Well done means tough, dry, and often minerally or livery flavored meat. And no wonder why so many inexperienced cooks and waterfowlers don't like duck, goose, or crane. Once your crane breast is rested, cut it against the grain into half inch or three quarter inch slices and serve with anything you'd serve a steak with. My favorites are potatoes and a fresh Caesar salad. However, pretty much any veggie and a good salad will leave your guests begging for more. I hope you enjoyed this super easy recipe. For more information on sandhill cranes and other waterfowl species, please visit our website at mwf.mb.ca. Or to plan your next sandhill crane hunting adventure and other amazing waterfowling adventures, please visit our friends at huntfishmanitoba.ca.